Hello students, welcome back to your geography lesson. I am Mrs. Jenny Shah and last class we completed climate. This class we will discuss the question and answers from the textbook. So for this class you will need your textbook. We will be marking the answers in the textbook as well as writing down the points in the textbook. For this, you will have to search the answers on your own in the textbook. I will narrate it and you will find it out. You will underline it and you will add the extra points. Okay? All right. Let's begin. Okay. So the first exercise is multiple choice question. Which one of the following places receives the highest rainfall in the world? Silchar, Moswaram, Chirapunji and Guwati. Find the answer from the textbook and mark it. I will wait for 30 seconds. The correct answer is B, Mawson Run. Next, the wind blowing in the northern plains in the summer is known as what? A, Karl Besaki, B, Lu, C, Trade Winds, and D, none of the above. Again, I'm going to wait for 30 seconds for you to find the answers and mark it. All right. Next question. Which one of the following causes rainfall during winters in the northwestern part of India? The options are cyclonic depression, retreating monsoon, western disturbances, or southwest monsoon. 30 seconds for you to find the answer. <clears throat> the answer is cyclonic depression. Next, monsoon arrives in India approximately in early May, early July, early June and early August. I don't think you need the textbook to answer this question. Monsoon always arrives early June. Which of the following characteristics the cold which one of the following characteristics is of the cold weather season in India? Warm days and warm nights. Warm days and cold nights, cold days and cold nights, or cold days and warm nights. Which of the following is a characteristic of the cold weather season in India? The answer is cool days and cold nights. Okay. The following is answer briefly. You will mark these answers in your textbooks. What are the controls affecting the climate of India? Remember, we are not talking about the climatic control. We are talking about the controls that affect the climate of India. Okay. Come on, find out the answer. Factors affecting India's climate, one, latitude, two, altitude, and three, pressure and winds.
there's one more which is ocean currents Ocean currents is also a part of this answer, okay? Affecting the climate of India is only these three. Ocean currents won't be a part of it, sorry. Okay, next, why does India have a monsoon type of climate? Next question, why does India have a monsoon type of climate? India has a monsoon type of climate because the climate of India is governed by the monsoon winds. And these are limited between 20 degrees north and 20 degrees south. Have you been able to find this answer? Why? Because the climate of India is governed by the monsoon winds. Okay. Next question. Which part of India experiences the highest diurnal range of temperatures and why? Diurnal is basically a pattern that reoccurs every 24 hours. Okay. It is the most basic form of the climate pattern. So every 24 hours, the same climate, same thing happens. Which part of India can you find this kind of climate? So the answer to this question is Write it down over here only. The Indian desert, which is located in the north western part of India, experiences the highest diurnal range of temperature because of the sand which is present over there. The sand quickly becomes hot during the day and cools down rapidly during the night. Next question, which winds accounts for rainfall along the Malabar coast? The answer is southwest monsoon winds. Next question, what are jet streams and how do they affect the climate of India? The answer is, jet streams are fast flowing, narrow and meandering air currents found in the atmosphere of some planets including the earth. The westerly flows are responsible for the western disturbances that are experienced in the north and northwestern parts of the country. In the months of October-November, 
the easterly jet streams they cause the tropical depression so how do they affect the country by causing tropical depressions <clears throat> Next question. Define monsoons. What do you understand by the term break in monsoon? Monsoon refers to a wind system that influences large climatic regions and reverses the direction seasonally. I repeat, monsoon refers to a wind system that influences large climatic condition and reverses direction seasonally. Next question is, what is monsoon break? Next part of the same question is, the breaks in monsoon. Okay. Monsoon break refers to the happening of wet and dry spells during the rainy season. The monsoon rains take place only for a few days at a time. Okay. The monsoon rain takes place only for a few days at a time. Next question, why is monsoon considered as a unifying bond? Okay, this question, so there are four points to this question. Of course, you all can write more if you all find more. Monsoon is considered as a unifying bond because number one, the monsoon of India is highly influenced by its flora and fauna. Number two, the water for agricultural activities is provided by the monsoon winds. Number three, most of the festivals in India are related to the agricultural cycle. And these are known by different names in different parts of the country. But the celebration is decided according to the monsoon. Next, the river valleys which carry this water, they also unite as a single river valley unit. So we have festivals that revolve around this. We have animal and plant for life that depend on it. We have the agricultural calendar and it sets the mood for agriculture. It sets agriculture into motion. And finally, the river valleys which carry this water and they also reunite into a single unit. Okay. All right. Next question. Give reasons why. First one. Okay, question number three is left. Why does the rainfall decrease from east to west in the northern India? <clears throat> the answer is uh, the Bay of Bengal branch of southwest monsoon moves towards the northeast carrying more moisture and so they give heavy rainfall in the region. As they start moving further towards the west, they now start carrying less moisture content with them, 
which results in decreasing in the rainfall in the west area. Okay, so this is the reason why the rainfall decreases from east to west in the northern India. Give reasons for season reversal of wind direction takes place over the Indian subcontinent. Seasonal reversal of the wind direction of the Indian subcontinent takes place due to the pressure differential. A major part is also played by the El Nino in the seasonal reversal of the wind direction over the Indian subcontinent. Next question, the bulk of rainfall in India is concentrated over a few months. The monsoon begins in the first week of June and it covers the entire country by mid-July. So, bulk of rainfall in India is concentrated over the months, over a few months, mainly June to August. Because we don't have monsoon through the year. So, of course, the bulk is concentrated over to only over some months. Next question. Tamil Nadu coast receives winter rainfall. It receives winter rainfall because of the movement of low pressure conditions to the Bay of Bengal. Next, the delta region in the easterly coast is frequently struck by cyclones. Yes, Bay of Bengal is the center of many pressure changes. And so, it's always leading the chance of a cyclone. The delta region of the eastern coast is so frequently struck by cyclones. Next question, parts of Gujarat, Rajasthan and the leeward side of the western Ghats are drought prone. Yes, because these parts, they fall in the rain shadow area of the Aravalis. So, they are drought prone as they don't receive much rainfall. Question 5, 6, 7 and 8 I will discuss in the next class. Till then, I want you to do this table, read this table and answer these questions. Question 1, 2, 3. I think we had made such bar graph for a few countries I have told you all. I want you all to send me those pictures privately if you all have any. With this, children, I end today's class. Stay home, stay safe, take care, keep learning. Thank you.